Hey guys, let's create some detailed sci-fi textures really quickly. The program I'm using here is JS Placement. To download it, you want to look up JS Placement on your web browser, go to the Internet Archive, click on it, go Show All Files, pick the one that suits you. Then, once you have it downloaded, you'll have this program here. It's JS Placement. This is the uh, opening screen. You want to click these buttons up here. You want to go to JS Placement Classic. There's other types, but this is the one that I've been using. Press R to generate these maps. However, that's not what the one we want. We want to go to presets. We want to click on minimal, and this is the one we want. So we can generate one, and let's say I like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go save height, and I'm going to save that to a textures folder that I've made specifically for JS placement textures. This is all we need. Now let's go into Blender to texture it. If you appreciated this quick tip, guys, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more videos like this. Now back to the video. Now that we actually have our sci-fi texture, we need to put it on a model in Blender. Here's a sci-fi asset I've modeled. The link to it will be down in the description. So let's texture it. So what I've done is I've imported my images that I'm gonna need. I have got a textures.com concrete fence looking thing. I have also got my JS placement map, this thing here from the minimal preset. And uh, yeah, let's texture this model. By the way, I have unwrapped this just by going into edit mode, going U and Q projection, and then scaling it up a bunch. So first of all, let's get the base color sorted out. So we're going to take our JS placement map here and we're going to multiply in some ambient occlusion just to enunciate the edges and give it a little bit of grunge. So we need to get a mix RGB node. If you're in later versions of Blender, it will just be a mixed node and then you need to change it to color. So we'll change that to multiply. We'll clamp the values. We'll add in an ambient occlusion node. We'll put that into the color two and then we'll put the factor to one. So how you wanna do it is you just wanna get ambient occlusion, drive that distance up, uh, add a color ramp and bring that to a point you like. And so that blackness will just add a little bit of grunge. Now let's multiply in our concrete image from textures.com to add a bit more grunge and realism to break up this constant sci-fi pattern. So let's just duplicate our same mix RGB, put that in there and multiply in our textures.com image. Now, of course we can play this factor to get it to a point where we like, where there's not too much concrete, but not too little. I like around 0.8. Now we can add in extra colors if we want. For example, we could add in another multiply node maybe, and then I want it a little bit more bleached or something. So give that bleached look. And now let's make it a little bit lighter, add in the curves. Cool, I like it there. We can also play with the metallic. Okay, so I like how this works with the metallic. I'm just using the JS placement map, putting that through a color ramp and bringing it up so that it's black everywhere except where the panels are. Those panels are gonna be fully metallic and everything else is gonna be not metallic at all. Okay, let's do the roughness now where we just use what we've already done where we just get a color ramp and we grab the color out of mixing the concrete and the JS placement map. So put that in the factor, that in the roughness, and then you just dial this color ramp into a point where you like it. Okay, so this is where I've put my color ramp. I brought up the blacks a little, not too much, because otherwise it just crunches everything. Now, of course, if in your scene it looks too reflective, we can always just add in a map range node, which I explained in my previous video, but I can basically just bring this up. The reflectiveness isn't as reflective. And now, of course, we want to add some bump. So just plug that color into the height of the bump map and then plug the normal into the normal value. So maybe we should add a color ramp in here just to make sure it's high contrast. And then we'll, of course, play with the strength of the bump node. I settled with 0.05. However, depending on how close or far away your object is, you can play with that. And there you go. There's how to texture a sci-fi model very easily there's so much you can do here and that's just a really basic thing make sure you download the asset pack in the description follow me on instagram subscribe like keep going with blender you got this